I now sit at, in Blauerstadt, in the northeastern corner of the Netherlands. Uh, the city name means the Blue City. And uh, it is a city built around and almost on a new artificial lake. The lake is built for several reasons. One important reason is to use it as a retention area for flood water to keep some of the water during high flows in this lake instead of having it downstream causing extra trouble. The lake is also built for nature reasons. Uh, it's built for uh, co uh, making housing for people and also for recreation. The decisions about this project was made in 1996 and the first step of the construction was made in 2003. It is meant to have around 1500 homes here and until today there are 170. The pace of this settlement has not been what the project managers expected. So uh, there are some efforts to speed up the settlement uh, speed. The Blauerstadt project covers about an area of 1500 hectares and of that 800 is the lake and 400 is land for uh, housing. The water level can be uh, raised by half a meter during flood events and that means that a uh, large volume of water can be stored here and not causing problem downstream. The Netherlands is a special country regarding flood risks. The low elevation where a large portion of the land is lying below sea level is very special and the protection from the sea has been a very important issue in many, during many uh, centuries. The tradition of organizing the flood work is also very long. Already almost a thousand years ago, the first structures, the first organizations were created to protect the citizens from floods. The flood management is made by so-called water boards that are regional and uh, they uh, analyze and plan for measures to reduce the flood risks. It's also a bit special in, in Netherlands that these water boards have parliaments or elected uh, bodies. Uh, so members to this parliament is, is elected uh, at the same time as they elect people for uh, the, the national parliament and for local parliaments. There is also a special tax paid in, in the Netherlands that is going to, to finance this kind of flood risk management. One of the vulnerable cities is Rotterdam, uh, situated near a river mouth and having flood risks all, uh, both from the sea and from a large river. Port area is one of the largest in the world and uh, it is protected by big gates at Keringhus. These gates can uh, close when you have a tidal storm or a storm surge of some kind uh, when you expect very high uh, water levels from the sea and then uh, the level is not uh, pushed up into the city of Rotterdam. The city has big development plans for the future, very uh, modern visions and uh, at the same time they have the challenge of taking care of flood risks but we can see that the Dutch are really used to doing this risk management and uh, they automatically include these aspects into the uh, spatial and city planning. It's an ongoing process to reclaim land from the sea. One of these areas we can find in the province of Flevoland and uh, one of these cities is Almere where uh, this very flat and sandy land now is uh, exploited and you can find settlements of small uh, blocks of houses and uh, infrastructure. 
One interesting aspect of, uh, of the protection of these new areas around Almere is uh, the big dikes that is needed to keep the sea or the water uh, level out of this area. And, uh, but people want living there, going there as new settlers, they want to see the sea, the water. And uh, so they don't want to live behind a big dike. So at least uh, on the third or, or fourth floor in a multi-story house, or maybe also as someone proposed, build on the dike. That is not, of course, very appropriate, but uh, the interest to live near the water is you can find also here in the Netherlands. One of the interesting features we found in uh, Almere was this permeable material on the streets. And uh, we had the uh, pleasure to attend a test where the city had uh, people from the fire brigade out pouring water into this street. And uh, we could see that this infiltrated very rapidly and caused no flooding. In the future, the Dutch people have several challenges. We have the sea level rise that continuously increase the risk from the sea and the demands for new protection. But there is also increased flood risk in the rivers uh, flowing through Netherlands and also from heavy rains. And it's really a good thing that the Dutch has so much competence in flood risk management because they are going to need it in the future.